Howdy everyone, welcome to another episode of Played With Toys, I'm Jaime. Today we're taking a look at the Robot Spirit Side Labor AV98 Ingram First, R number 207. And this is the Mobile Police uh, Labor from the Pat Labor uh, television series. Now, this is the box back here, I forgot to just kind of insert it there, but there you go, there's the box. So, speaking of the box, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got here. Because I like these boxes, actually. Um, now, you may have noticed something a little bit different. I've actually tried to upgrade to a much, uh, well, much better camera in the hopes that I can get you guys better, uh, you know, visuals, all that good stuff. You guys can see more detail, because more detail is good, right? All right, so enough blabber there. Uh, the box is pretty nice, you know, another white box there. It's got some red dots. Cool picture of the Ingram there. Pretty cool logo on the top, I like that, definitely. Nice picture on the side of the labor. And the Ingram on the side, or on the back. Uh, just its gimmicks and stuff like that, and some different uh, information about it, technical specs. And a few different poses that the labor is able to take. So, looking at our labor here, I like the all-white color scheme. Definitely digging that. Um, you know, I like the simple color schemes on these uh, figures, honestly, that I've been looking at, um, these labors. And uh, so this is no different than the Saturn I just reviewed. Um, but you've got some nice red lights up there with kind of like black and orange right there uh, with a blue kind of underlay and some even like you know metallic uh, support for the head I'm assuming what are hydraulics and stuff like that and kind of like a cockpit looking thing right here right and black uh, with the nice blue grills some more orange gold there and definitely like this is one of the uh, the faces actually this is one of two faces so I'll probably have to show you guys the, uh, the second the second face here in just a bit um, and this is not the main face actually it comes with but I do like this face it's pretty cool so it's got some writing on it and stuff like that you can see I don't, can't understand anything it says but you know it says stuff I can understand number one and two dash twenty one and hey there's the uh, uh, patrol laborer symbol so that's pretty cool like the digging the license plates all that good stuff uh, some more orange striping there very very cop looking and it's even got nice uh, you know oh what's the word I'm looking for uh, sculpting on the feet so overall I do really like the sculpt all this rufflage and stuff you know it looks pretty nice and this is the plug for the Tamashi uh, thing it doesn't actually it, it's not part of the thing I actually plugged that in myself so I can show you guys the alternative here whenever we go for parts but um, you know with the shield on and everything it looks great so it looks very copy I really really dig these ears they're so cool uh, you know, there, there's another anime I, I saw where this guy's got like these giant ears, but I forgot what it's called. Um, it's been a while. So this, you know, kind of gold tone thing, it's really the only, uh, you know, one that's colored in that particular one. So in that particular color, it's, you know, stands out a little bit, it just helps to bring, I don't know, this figure just looks so cool with it's like mono eye. And all that good stuff. Uh, I just, I really, really like it. It's like, it looks like a rabbit, right? <laughs> it looks like a giant rabbit mech for some reason to me, which still looks cool. So, anyway, I very, very much like it. Very much like the sculpt of the car, too. I think it's pretty cool looking. And you can see it's actually pretty well detailed, despite just being a plastic piece. And, uh, you know, it's got real rolling wheels, all that good stuff. It does not have the plug that the Saturn has. But it's still a very nice little car. And it's got a pretty cool, like, I don't know, spotlight, some police lights, uh, you know, lettering, kind of like a roll bar cage, all that stuff. So uh, communication, antenna wires, maybe even a tow thing. <laughs> so really, really cool. Uh, side piece so very happy to have that as well but let's go ahead and go over all the accessories of this bad boy besides just you know all this stuff here because we got a lot of little little bits and pieces so what kind of accessories does our mech friend here come with well let's go ahead and start out with the shield he comes out and so this shield is pretty cool and it can attach a couple different ways and as you see it's very nicely painted and, and uh, labeled all that cool stuff so it just simply pops off just like that literally and it's going to plug into one of two pieces now you'll see there's three notches there one two three long groove with two notches 
you have two options. You can either use this piece without the baton hidden or this piece with the baton hidden underneath the shield and simply plug that in. There we go, just like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and plug this right on top. Uh, you wanna have it facing, I think, outward like that so that the baton piece is just kind of barely sticking out. So, and that looks pretty good. I like that. So as far as the other piece, uh, well, actually, let's shoot the face first. So this is the secondary face that you don't uh, see in the box initially. But this is the primary face. And just go ahead and pull that right off and pop this on. And voila, you're good to go. And I really like that face a lot. So you're also going to get this little tool. And this little tool right here is for removing this little arm piece. So essentially, what you can do is uh, plug this in. See there's this little T-joint in there? They're not T-joint, but T-plug. That just plugs in there, and you're going to go ahead and use this tool to slide under and then pull this peg off. And that's going to allow you to put this extendo piece on here, which the purpose of it is, and that does, I think, snap in. The purpose of it is to uh, motion like he's getting the gun out of his holster here. So just like that. Pretty nifty. I like that feature. So, and other weapons that he gets are, well, the other weapon that he gets is this baton, which is collapsible as well. It has a collapsible piece option that you can just kind of push in there. But obviously, I think if you're gonna bust out the baton, you might as well just be using it, right? Beat the crap out of somebody, so. There you go, and it plugs into that hand just just well. And you get two of these hands. It's nice straight pegs. No issues there. Got a couple gesturing hands. Motion, or supporting hands, motioning hands. Whatever you want to call them. And then, of course, you've got two uh, hands for shooting, or, yeah, pistol gripping hands. So, and I really, really like the revolver. The revolver's pretty awesome. <laughs> It's got a nice wood kind of grain. It fits into the hands well. So that's no issue. And of course you have some punching hands. So pretty nice robotic hands. And you do have some replacement pieces, mainly replacement antenna. You get two of these replacement antenna pieces to replace the antenna on this car. As well as this replacement antenna here for the top of his head, kind of on the side there. So that will, in case you break it, you can replace that. So very nice uh, little accessory kit and, oh, sorry about that. Lastly, you get this piece right here, which I can't seem to remove uh, for some reason. A lot of times I just can't get a good grip on it. Um, but essentially it's just the it slots in there for your Tomashi Nations stand. Uh, stand. So pretty cool built-in support all that good stuff always happy to see that but anyway let's go ahead and go on with uh, articulation for this guy and see what he can do all right so for articulation here and just side note this has been kind of an experimental uh video for me because this is a new filming style i've been having kind of technical glitches too with my audio so i've been having unfortunately to film it in uh, kind of small bits, so uh, that's why it might be a little bit different here. Um, but anyway, I'm really enjoying this camera, so it's pretty awesome. I've actually just figured out how to show that it highlights when everything is in range. So I should be able to, for example, bring it completely out of range, and then I can find the sweet spot right there, right where it is. So that's pretty cool. Totally digging that. Anyway, enough blabber about technical stuff, but yeah, I love this camera. It's so awesome. Um, all right, so the figure has pretty cool up and down motion here. Totally good up, pretty good down. Definitely double neck joint in there. Side to side pivot, limited of course by that, so do be careful there, don't wanna break that. You can move the head around as such, like that, no problem. This piece right here does tend to kind of fall out, so just you know, be aware of that. Um, but pretty good, you know, pretty good. Other than that antenna right there kind of getting in the way, um, and even you can kind of just move past that and it's fine. So pretty good. 
Now for the shoulders, these pieces are on a hinge uh, ball peg there with, uh, you know, on the shoulder itself. So you've got the kind of extending uh, shoulder piece in there. Went to the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that for now, a little antenna. And so that right there kind of pulls out. So you kind of got that butterfly action there. And that's pretty nice, totally like that. Now you can rotate, of course, a swivel right there above the uh, elbow joint. And then, of course, this itself is, I believe this should swivel. I feel like I thought this would swivel, but maybe I'm correct. Yeah, so there's another swivel in there. So you have two swivels, but it looks like the easier one to use is gonna be this one right here, kind of underneath that armor piece. And you've got another swivel right there, uh, the forearm underneath the elbow, and then another swivel right there. So you've got like swivel there, swivel there, Swivel there and swivel there. It, this has pretty crazy arm articulation, so that's pretty good. And that does allow you to kind of get these, you know, poses where you can kind of have them like that. So, you know, kind of cross-armed a little bit. So that's pretty nice. Wrist articulation is pretty decent. Nothing like overly gracious or anything like that. And then you have the waist, which is pretty good, I'd have to say, I think double jointed of course right there and up there going into the armor so you can get around and around pretty nice so looking side to side pivot down ah, there one is here again up up is maybe the part where it's not the best so really not a whole lot of upward looking motion or anything like that so and i don't think that's because this piece right here is in the way let me see if i can just pull this off. It never wants to come off. Sometimes I have to use pliers and I don't even know if these will work because these aren't a grip. I don't want to mess it up, but there we go. Okay, see, that's what I have to do to take that darn thing off. All right, so looking up now, I mean, yeah, nothing spectacular, but it can do it. So um, now for the waist, or I'm sorry, the thigh action, you got this swivel there, right there. And then you've got a little bit of a swivel here, although it's really tight on both mine. Now this can kind of extend down as well, just like the uh, Saturn I reviewed. If you see the mechanism in there. So it does kind of like pull out a little bit, allowing you to kind of do some side motions as well with this figure. And, you know, further extending it like that. You're not gonna get a whole lot of like, uh, you know, anything past this right here really. So even trying to pull that all the way out that's about as far as you're gonna get. So, which is cool, that's fine. And you've got that single kind of weird jointed knee. Um, this back piece right here does go down to allow you to kind of pull that all the way up, just like that. So and of course, as shown earlier, this piece right here comes out for you to put the gun in and close back up. Now for the ankle articulation, got pretty gracious front to back, I think. And side to side is okay if you pull it down a little bit. Not the best. You've got a great toe pivot. So it's a pretty well articulated figure. I think that the legs could be maybe a bit more articulated in terms of the thighs, but it's still poseable. I mean, it's not like horrible or anything by any means. It's just not. They kind of messed up, I think, on the thighs personally. I think they could have done a little bit better like they did with the Saturn. Maybe mine is just really, really tight. Um, but you know, you can still get them into different poses and stuff like that. Just kind of be careful, you know, whenever you're doing that. So, but yeah, totally capable of, you know, having say for instance, a gun right there. And of course I'll show this in pictures, you know, him leaning forward, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, very, very capable, I think in terms of that. And I think this is a really great looking figure. Very happy I picked it up, and I have it with my uh, labor, you know, my other labor. I've got another one, I think, on the way next month, so, or this month, the end of this month, rather. And I really, really dig this vehicle here. It's freaking awesome. And, of course, the auto cannon can't, uh, you know, <laughs> robots with a freaking revolver. That's so cool. Giant mecha with a revolver. Even though I know these are smaller than Gundam, uh, I think, in terms of scale. I think they're, like, what, six to eight meters? Let me take a look at the box here. What does it say? I think eight meters tall, so... You know, they're smaller compared to like the traditional gun. It might be like 15, 20 meters, somewhere in there. So these are small little guys, but freaking awesome. Uh, anyway, I recommend it. I think I paid like 40 bucks on Amazon, 45 or something shipped. 
it's worth it. It's up there on Prime right now. It's, you know, the thigh articulation is really the only issue I have with it. Other than that, I definitely think it's a win. So pick it up, especially if you're into different weird robots or part of the, you know, you enjoy the Pat Labor series or whatever. Um, definitely worthy buy. Anyway, guys, y'all take care. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting and happy holidays. Thank you.